Hi, I'm Heather with Heather Lang Homes. It's September, that means we have our August stats here for 2022 single family homes in Santa Clara County. And as the Bay Area housing market continues to shift and work away from the hot sellers market that we experienced in the first part of this year, we are beginning to see signs that we've already entered the start of the fall seasonal market that usually begins in September with inventory starting to deplete as we head towards the holiday season and finishing out 2022. So let's dive right in, take a look at the stats and break it all down. Active homes decreased by 13% from July uh, with just over 1,200 single family homes available on market in August. Pending and sold stats went up by 22% and 16% respectively. This direction reversal from July tells us that buyers have adjusted to the rise in interest rates and are still motivated to make a home purchase. Folks, uh, most folks wrapped up their summer vacations, kids went back to school, and buyers are educating themselves to understand the benefits of home ownership. Even as the Fed continues to uh, battle inflation and the possibility of a recession, buyers are learning that there are a variety of loan packages out there and available, along with better room to negotiate with sellers since the market shift in June, making for a more normalized housing market, something that is welcome. It's always good to have good balance. Although we are still seeing multiple bidding on homes that are priced well in this shifting market, the days of extravagant overbidding from fair market away from that fair market value, that's gone. This is evidenced in the average sales price for single family homes having decreased by 9% from this time last month, now sitting just under 2 million. The average sales price per square foot uh, decreased by 3%, now resting at $1,045 per square foot. And the list to sold price ratio is down uh, by 1% from last month. That's translating into homes now selling closer to the offer and even a little bit under the offer price uh, that sellers are, are uh, setting when they come to market. Buyers continue to take their time to review inventory through through the month of August, and uh, even with, with even with the um, decrease of inventory, the average days of market bumped up by another four, 14 percent. That's translating into three more days on market from what we saw in July, with homes taking an average of 24 days to get into contract in August. This could also be due to um, uh, the this. This could also be due to August uh, remaining a busy busy month for folks that are finishing up those vacations, prepping for the new school season. So it will be interesting to see what our stats are um, as we go through uh, September and begin that fall season uh, officially. Sellers spent August understanding and adjusting to the reality of the shifted market by either reducing their sale price, their offer price, if they found that they were no longer in that sweet spot trading range, or just removing their home altogether if their motivation to sell was already low or depleted because they had missed the overbidding uh, frenzy that took place in the earlier part of the year. This is also evidenced by months worth of inventory having gone down by 24% from July, back under that two month worth of supply. Bay Area sellers are savvy enough to know that if they don't have to make a move right now, then they may wanna wait until next year. Uh, well, and if they don't wanna sell right now, but they want to move in within the next year, then it's smart to possibly take that home off market now and wait. Wait until the beginning of the year when typically at the start of New Year's, uh, inventory is typically lower. So they'll have a better chance of getting that top dollar uh, with lower inventory. The 30-year conforming fixed rate, as noted by bank rate, 
rose 6% from this time last month. So that's translating into about a third of a point higher, currently resting at just under 6%. Again, that's for the conforming uh, fixed mortgage rate. Sellers, if you are indeed motivated to sell your home now, there are excellent strategies for obtaining top, top dollar on your home in this current market. I just recently sold a home that wouldn't sell through another agent. It was on market for 52 days and it was constantly getting lowball offers, even lower than the current fair market value could have and should have gleaned. So I presented to the seller a strategic plan and we implemented that within eight days of coming to market. We had 75 groups go through the property and 10 offers. And we landed at that higher end of the current fair market trading range. So I have a very pleased seller and very relieved. Having a strategic, diligent, trustworthy, experienced realtor uh, in this shifting market is key, especially, especially now. Buyers, even with falling inventory and higher interest rates, this is a great time to buy your dream home. Indeed, inflation is upon us, but remember, we are not in a housing crash. We're not crashing. And although the uh, home appreciation won't continue as it has in previous uh, feverish, at the previous fever, feverish pace that we were experiencing, Experts are are saying on average and nationwide that home prices are continuing to appreciate just at a slower pace. So simply put for buyers, purchasing now allows you to board that train of asset growth and appreciation. And with homes in the Bay Area providing one of the strongest and safest asset building tools that's available, it's something truly to consider. If you or somebody that you know is ready to discuss making their move, whether seller or a buyer, reach out to me for strategic, diligent, trustworthy advice to help you reach your selling and your buying goals. Uh, I, as I mentioned, I've been having great success with my sellers and my buyers in this current shifting market, and I am happy and ready to help you as well. I'm Heather with Heather Lang Homes. You can reach me at 408-207-3130 or you can email me at heather at heatherlanghomes.com. In the meantime, I hope you have a wonderful start to your fall season this September. We'll be back here again at the beginning of October to discuss September stats. In the meantime, stay well, stay healthy, and enjoy the start to your fall.